Hi, my name is Dre Harper, 6'2", 195. I play corner. I did my first two years at Oklahoma State, and then I did my last two years at Southern Illinois. What goals did you set and or accomplish in your final collegiate season? In my final collegiate season, I just set the goals, one, to come out healthy, which I did do. And, you know, obviously just blessing to be on the field. I wanted to get three picks or better. I ended up getting two picks, dropped a couple, so I could have got that goal. And then I wanted to have some type of honors. I ended up getting an honorable mention for the conference. I did want to be an All-American All-Conference, but it just didn't work out like that. But I was just grateful just to, you know, be mentioned. What would your coaches and teammates say about the type of player you are? The type of player that I am is a real, I'm a real practice player. I believe that preparation, you know, transfers to the game. So they'll say that I practice hard. I'm in the, I'm in the film room. I study hard. And then also I try to lead the younger guys because in my mind, whoever's in the room should be able to step up and play whether, you know, I go down or the other corner goes down, anybody like that. And the coach would just say that I'm coachable, uh, high football IQ, and I just love the game of football. I like to practice. I like to go hard. I'm just a physical guy. When you are studying film, what do you focus on to improve your game? When I'm studying film, I focus on the tendencies of the receiver, the formations, down and distance, and the numbers. Because that that tells me the route trees that a lot of receivers like to run. That tells me the type of plays like to do in certain situations. And tendencies of the receiver, like his release, his stances, how he gets off a of press, how he attacks leverages, and different stuff like that. All of that just gives me a little bit of edge to make that play or to know that route that's coming up and just be a better football player. What separates you from the other pro prospects at your position? What separates me, one, because of my height and my size. I mean, you just don't see too many 6'2 corners walking around that can run and jump and do everything they need to do. Um, I'm a physical guy and I'm a really intelligent guy, like I said earlier. My football intelligence is just I really try to keep it at a high level. And then being at Southern Noise, like we were really going over schemes in the corner room and teaching us and knowing the defense. And I feel like that aspect is going to help me translate to the next level. Also, me being at Oklahoma State, I was able to face people like James Washington and Marcel and, you know, big guys and big receivers that like, people in the league have. And that's going to prepare me to be able to cover those bigger receivers in the league, which the league is going to. What is your off-season plan to train and prepare for professional opportunities? I'm currently training at APEC in Fort Worth. They're basically preparing me for my pro day. So, you know, the 40, the vert, everything like that. And they have a really great program. I really love it there. And then I'll also be doing my position drills and everything like that there. And then Clay Mack, a lot of people know about him down here because I'm from Arlington, Texas, down in DFW area. And then doing those things so that I can jump the highest, do the most on the bench, run the fastest, and make sure that, you know, my hips and my feet are well together. Because scouts want to see, especially me being a taller corner, they want to make sure that I can get out and my hip transition is good and my feet are good. What kind of strengths and abilities will you bring to a team that will stand out both on and off the field? Well, I guess on the field, like I said earlier, my size, length, speed, uh, closing speed, attention to detail, and I, being a bigger guy, I do have you know pretty good feet. And I love to play special teams. So I feel like that's a big thing. I love special teams. I've been playing special teams my whole life, and I want to be on special teams. And I know that a lot of dudes will either want to play special teams, don't think they're good at it. But, I mean, I love special teams. I want to get out there. I love to compete. Off the field, I mean, I'm not going to get any trouble. I, I don't smoke. I don't drink. You ask any of my teammates or coaches. They, everybody knows that. And then the, I've been preparing for this game since I was five years old. I've always loved football. And I know off the field that I want to be a part of the community. I want to do things in my own community and be able to show younger dudes that, you know, that sports in general and just going to college, getting a degree, that's just a better way than, you know, living life in the streets or trying to make, you know, quick money. And then be able to be that, especially like for my community, just seeing a lot of friends that I had either didn't make to college or didn't get the opportunity. And I want to do things for them like that. What is your final pitch to the NFL or any other pro leagues? Um, one, that I'm hungry. Like, I'm ready to do this. Uh, I'm just blessed by God just allowed me to be in this position to even be considered to be a, at this next level and that I'm ready to go. I don't do anything that it takes. I mean, I want to play special teams. I want to play corner. I mean, I move the safety. It doesn't matter. And I just feel like I'm going to be a still Whatever team I get on, it's just like everything that comes together is going to be great opportunity for any team that takes me. I'm going to work hard for them.